Hello everyone. Today we are going to talk about five tips to get ridiculously high damage in triangle strategy. These tips will apply more to mid and late game play and require a little bit of forethought and setup, but can be extremely powerful when pulled off right. Let's get started with number one. Starting off, we have a tactic that is relatively easy to pull off. Using attacks like Eridor's Ram Foe, you can do damage to an enemy and push them back several spaces. If you push them into one of their allies, you can do a little extra damage to both of them. But the best way to use these push abilities is to push enemies off cliffs. The higher, the better. This will do a ton of extra damage to them and potentially take them out of play for a few turns. This next one requires that you have Medina and either Narv or Izana. On Medina's turn, use the in tandem Quietus on Narv or Izana. Then have Medina use double items to throw a ranged ice stone and then a ranged fire stone. These two attacks will do some area damage themselves, but also set up a puddle of water. Then have Narv or Izana use lightning on one of those enemies in the puddle. The lightning will hit them and then travel through the water and hit everyone else standing in the puddle. After this combo, it should be pretty easy to finish off anyone left standing. The next tip requires a little bit of setup using Frederica. First, make sure you have the red anklet found in Chapter 9 and the black anklet found in Chapter 13, and equip Frederica with both of these. These will increase Frederica's damage potential. Also make sure you've picked up the weapon upgrades Clear Skies and Blazing Chains damage up. With Frederica now powered up, Blazing Chains will be able to one-shot a lot of your enemies. Once you pick up Sunfall with Frederica and have the above items equipped, you can set up a ridiculously overpowered combo. First, make sure to max out Frederica's TP with someone's TP granting skill, like Julio's Finish Them. Then on Frederica's turn, use in tandem on either Benedict or Medina. Have Frederica charge Sunfall. Now, use Fast Acting Medicine or Now to make Frederica go again. This will allow her to cast Sunfall before the targeted enemies get a chance to move, and will do massive damage to multiple foes at once. Just in the example on screen here, I was able to do over 1700 damage to this group. You won't beat me. This one is a slightly more advanced version of the first tip. Instead of waiting for the perfect opportunity to use a push, set it up yourself. Using the Lightwave Quietus, you can teleport one of your pushers up to an enemy on top of a tower, building, or other high spot, and then use a push attack to knock them off of it. Even if the attack doesn't kill the enemy, at least you've denied them the high ground, and you should be able to finish them off with one more attack. Tired of pesky mages and archers kiting you? If you have Archibald, you can use Inescapable Arrow to snipe them from anywhere on the map. In addition, if you use a TP granting ability on him after the first shot, you can follow up with a second inescapable arrow which should be sufficient to finish off most mages and archers. While some of these combos can be difficult to set up, they can do some major damage and give you a leg up if you pull them off successfully. Remember to like the video if you made it this far, and check out this video here if you're still hungry for more triangle strategy. Thank you so much for watching, and keep on gaming!